All right, guys, I want to go through how to create scatter plots and regression lines using both Google Sheets and Desmos, um, which you'll need to do for your project. So on the project post, we've put lots of different sports data that you can use. For example, maybe you want to look at some of the NFL data and you want to look at the relationship between pass yards and touchdowns or touchdowns and interceptions or touchdowns and rating, whatever you want to do. I've chosen to use some of the NHL data, okay? And what I'm gonna do from last year's data, I'm gonna look at the relationship or the correlation between the number of goals that they scored, GF, which stands for goals for, compared to the number of wins. And I wanna see, is there a relationship, which obviously I think there is, between the number of goals and the number of wins that a team has. Keep in mind, when you're dealing with scatter plots and regression, you need to make sure that you're picking things that are quantitative, okay? Two quantitative number variables. If you want to collect your own data, maybe you want to see the relationship between the number of photos on your cam on your phone and the number of Instagram followers, you can go ask your friends and collect your own data and do something like that. Once I've decided this is the data I'm going to use, I'm going to create two columns on my Google Sheets. So I'm going to open Google Sheets. I'm going to title my column. So goals for and then wins. And I'm gonna type in my data as I've done right here. Make sure whatever variable you want to be your dependent variable, you place second. So in this case, I think wins depend on the number of goals that they score. So I put wins as my second variable. Once all of my data is in, I'm going to highlight my data. I'm gonna to go to insert and chart. Now we don't want a line chart, we want a scatter plot. So I'm gonna to go to chart type. And I'm going to scroll down to the scatter plot and select that. Notice because I've titled my, my columns here and here, it's already titled them down here and labeled them. I do want to change this. Okay, maybe I want to change this to NHL wins and goals scored or something like that. All right, I can do something like that in my title. I can do other things along with my title as well. If I go to customize, plenty of stuff that you can do here. I could change the background color. Maybe I want to make it yellow. Okay, I could put a border around it. If I want to change the title, I can change that in here. I could change the, the, the font of the title to whatever I want. I could change the color of my dots. Maybe I want them to be red. Maybe instead of being a circle, I want them to be stars or something like that, and I wanna make them bigger. Whatever you wanna do, okay? You can do all of those things and make your chart unique. Most importantly though, we wanna put the trend line or the line of best fit in there. We wanna make sure that it's linear, so it's shown right there. The color is fine. If you wanna change that, you wanna make it thicker, whatever you wanna do, you can do all of those things. And we wanna make sure that we label it. So we wanna show the equation, which is shown right here, which is 0.225x, plus negative 13.2 or minus 13.2. In addition, we wanna show R squared. Now we didn't talk much about R squared. We really care about R, which is our correlation coefficient. But if I wanna get my R value, I can just take the square root of that and then I can get my R value there. So my line of best fit, my regression line is Y equals 0.225X minus 13.2. And if I take the square root of 0.751, I can get my R or my correlation coefficient. The good thing about Google Sheets is it really makes a nice scatter plot for you with all of the labels. I highly recommend that you use that to make your scatter plot. However, you can also use Desmos to make your scatter plot, which I'm gonna show you um, how to do as well. So we wanna show, enter our data into Desmos. So we need to go to uh, desmos.com into the graphing calculator, and then we need to add a table. I'm just gonna copy my data from my spreadsheet, but you can enter the data in manually as well. Okay, and it's gonna show the scatter plot, the same exact scatter plot that I saw before. Now on Desmos, in order to get the regression line and R, you're gonna do Y1, then the little squiggly, the thing that looks like the Spanish accent tilde, AX1, plus P1, just like that, okay? It will show you the regression line as well. 
Notice there's that same R squared value of 0.7154, and there is R of 0.8668. Here's my A value, same A value that we got before, 0.225, and negative 13.189 for your B. So you can get the, your regression line by just plugging those A and B values into your equation. Notice your R value here for our set of data is 0.8668. That makes it a very strong positive correlation, which we can see with our dots in here. So it doesn't matter whether you use Desmos or whether you use um, Google Sheets to create your regression equation. There are a few more options in Google Sheets in terms of creating the graph, and it will label your axes for you, which is important. But you can use both of them, and you can try both ways when you're creating your regression equations and your scatter plots. Good luck, guys. See you in class.